Welcome to the DIY Honda Garage Channel. DTC U1281 indicates that the auto light control unit has lost communication with the MICU or Multi Information Control Unit in Honda Accord models from 2012 to 2017. The DOC stands for Diagnostic Trouble Code, which is employed to identify faults within the vehicle system. The Auto Light Control Unit manages the automatic lighting features of the vehicle, ensuring that headlights and other lights activate based on ambient light conditions. The MICU is a central unit that handles multiple vehicle functions, including interior lighting and the operation of various body control modules. The loss of communication can hinder the proper operation of the automatic lighting system, causing issues such as lights not activating or deactivating appropriately. It is critical to address this DTC to ensure the vehicle maintains optimal function and safety. In terms of preventive maintenance regarding the auto light control unit and MICU interactions, regular inspections can significantly mitigate future issues. Routinely checking the wiring harness for any fraying, corrosion, or disconnections can help catch potential problems before they lead to failure. It's also vital to check connectors regularly, ensuring that they fit securely and are free from debris that could impede communication. Performing system diagnostics periodically with the Honda Diagnostic System can help identify any emerging problems before they escalate into significant issues. This proactive approach can not only extend the life of your vehicle's electronic systems, but also enhance safety and operational reliability over time. In conclusion, DTC U1281 denotes a communication issue between the auto light control unit and the multi-information control unit. Following a systematic troubleshooting approach is crucial to pinpointing the root of the problem. From clearing error codes to the thorough inspection of components. Verification of repairs is essential, as well as ongoing preventive maintenance to ensure the long-term reliability of lighting functionalities. Understanding the interacting components and their roles is vital for successful diagnostics and repair. Ultimately, addressing DTC U1281 not only restores automatic lighting features, but also preserves overall vehicle safety and performance, making it an important aspect for any Honda Accord owner to understand. The key component involved with the DTC U1281 is the Auto Light Control Unit. This unit is responsible for managing various automatic lighting features, including headlights, tail lights, and interior lights based on the ambient light condition. Its primary location is usually found near the driver's side, ensuring quick access to sensors that gauge environmental brightness. The communication between the auto light control unit and the MICU is crucial for the operation of the vehicle's lighting system. The MICU, or Multi-Information Control Unit, oversees multiple electronic systems within the vehicle, enabling them to work harmoniously. If this communication link is lost, it can disrupt the operation of critical components, potentially resulting in safety hazards. There are several possible causes for the DTCU-1281. A primary suspect could be a faulty auto light control unit, which may have internal issues, preventing it from communicating properly with the MICU. Wiring harness issues can also lead to disrupted signals. Frayed or broken wires might block or interrupt communication. Bad connectors can create resistance or loss of connection between components, leading to the same consequence. Additionally, a defective MICU itself may fail to send or receive signals needed for operation. Lastly, intermittent feedback could indicate temporary issues that might not always be present, complicating the troubleshooting process. When facing the DTC U1281, 
several symptoms may manifest in the vehicle. The most immediate issue could be headlights that do not activate as expected, leaving the driver reliant on manual operation. Additional problems might include malfunctioning interior lights that either fail to illuminate or behave unpredictably. Dashboard indicators may also show unsolved communication errors or exhibit instability, signaling potential faults. Drivers might observe a complete loss of automatic light functions, requiring manual adjustments to lighting systems. Finally, Alerts regarding communication errors may appear on the dashboard, corroborating the DTC identified through diagnostic testing. The first step in troubleshooting the DTC U1281 is to clear the diagnostic trouble codes using the Honda Diagnostic System, commonly referred to as HDS. Clearing these codes will reset the vehicle's electronic systems, allowing you to reevaluate the state of the components involved with the DTC. It's important to ensure that you have properly connected the HDS tool so it can communicate effectively with the vehicle's onboard diagnostics or OBD system. This step is crucial as it sets the foundation for further diagnosis. Once the DTCs are cleared, it is much easier to determine if the issue persists or if it was a temporary error. Being thorough in this stage will help streamline the next troubleshooting steps. The following step requires turning the ignition switch to the lock position, or zero, as denoted in Honda's terminology. Next, turn the ignition back to the on position, marked as II, or alternatively, for models equipped with a push start system, you can use the engine start stop button to select the off mode before toggling to on mode. This step helps to refresh the systems within the vehicle and is a conventional practice in automotive diagnostics. It prepares the electronic control units to establish good communication links. It's crucial to perform this action methodically to ensure that all systems are rebooted appropriately. Make sure to observe the indicators for any abnormal behaviors at this moment, which may provide clues for further troubleshooting. In the third step, you'll need to wait for at least six seconds. This waiting period allows the vehicle systems ample time to fully reboot and reset. The various electronic control units, including the Auto Light Control Unit and MICU, require this time to stabilize their communication channels. It's crucial not to bypass this waiting period, as trying to proceed too quickly can lead to inaccurate diagnostics. Patience at this stage ensures that any residual errors from earlier cycles are cleared, providing a cleaner slate for further verification. Monitoring dashboard lights and feedback during this time can reveal residual issues that may need further attention. The final troubleshooting step requires you to check for diagnostic trouble codes again using the Honda Diagnostic System. This will indicate whether the DTC U1281 is still present after the reset process. If U1281 is indicated again, you will need to proceed with specific MICU troubleshooting steps for DTC U1280. This is important as it helps to isolate the problem specifically to the MICU. If U1281 is not triggered again, it may suggest an intermittent failure, implying that the system is functioning correctly at that moment. Such nuances can be critical in understanding if the issue will reoccur or if it was a temporary glitch. Ensuring a thorough inspection of all connections and components at this point will support more effective diagnostics. After completing the troubleshooting and any necessary repairs, it is essential to perform final repair verification. Begin by testing all lighting functions to ensure they are operating normally, including headlights, interior lights, and any exterior lights that could be affected by the auto light control unit's operation. This is to confirm that all systems are communicating correctly as expected. Following this, conduct multiple system checks, reviewing the connections and integrity of wiring harnesses. It is also crucial to verify effective communication with the MICU as well. 
by confirming that the auto light control unit now adequately communicates with the MICU, you can ensure that the issue has been resolved and that future problems are less likely. Please like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.